Hey everyone, this is Caroline with Logan's Crafty Mama. I'm in the kitchen today, so if you hear all that noise going, it's my microwave and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to show you how I make a chicken pot pie my way. Um, my aunt, I fit, I bleh, my aunt started this, and then my mom started doing it, and so I just took it from both of them, and I started doing it. And it's a healthy um, thing, and it's really good. And I hate chicken pot pie. This is actually the only chicken pot pie. I'm going to show you how to make it. What you're going to need is some, first of all, some. I use white chicken breast. I use the canned chicken. Um, this is the 12.5 ounce, and I've already opened the can over there, and I'm going to show you how to do all that in a minute. But sometimes I use this and then the small can, but I don't have a small can, so I may have to use a can and a half. just depends on how much chicken you want. And then you want a cream of chicken. Then you're going to want an 8 ounce of sour cream, but I don't use this whole container. I'll show you that also. And then I use two bags of this bird's eye steam fresh um, mixed vegetables. Um, I use this one because my husband doesn't like broccoli. But when he's not going to eat it, I make the one with broccoli in it. And I use two bags, and this is a 12 ounce. I've got one in the microwave now. So, And then you're going to need a can of crescent rolls. And then two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. So, let me go ahead. Oh, and then you're going to want a casserole dish of some sort. So I'm just going to use this one. And you're going to want something to mix it in, so I'm just going to put it in this pan right here. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven. Um, you're going to want to put it on, I'm going to say, 360. And you're going to bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. It just depends on your oven. My mama's takes about 40, but mine's been done in 30. So just let that preheat. Then I'm just going to take my chicken that I've opened and drain all the juice off. And I push the lid down really well to get that juice out. And then I'm going to dump the chicken into my container and let it drain. And then what I'm going to do, and this is kind of gross, but this is the way I do it. Is you're going to want to break that chicken up into little pieces and put it in your um, your bowl you're going to mix with. So that's all I'm doing is taking it and shredding it. Because um, I'm not a really big meat eater. And so just my opinion is I don't want big chunks of chicken in my mouth. Okay, and that's what it looks like when you shred it up. Um, I just went ahead and just did one can. Like I said, I'm not a big chicken eater. So, I, asked, I mean, I'm not a big meat eater. I do eat chicken. That's about all I eat. But um, I asked my husband, and he said that was plenty for him. So, I can eat just a can. I, I could make this vegetable pot pie and be fine. And then what I'm going to do is take my cream of chicken and dump it down in there. Kind of looks like banana pudding. This is in the kitchen with Carolyn <laughs> and Logan and Will. And then just stir that up. And then let me get another spoon because I don't really want cream cheese in there. And then I'm not going to take all my cream cheese. Um, I mean sour cream, not cream cheese. See, I think I'm just going to use about that. So, and then I have that left over. And then I'm going to stir this up. But if you don't um, shred your chicken, you're going to get kind of like chunky chicken. And I personally don't like that. Okay, let me get my vegetables. And then once they come out, they look like that. And I'm just going to dump it in. I use two bags from my other bags in the microwave. So once that gets done, I'm going to put that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this some. I think that looks so good. <laughs> so let me get the other bag of vegetables in there, and then I'll show you how to complete it. Okay, I went ahead and added my second um, bag of vegetables, and then you just 
stirred it really good. <laughs> and you're just going to pour your mixture in your dish. It's football season in my house, so you hear my son and my husband getting excited. Yeah. And then you're just going to take it and smooth it out. Okay, and then what you're going to do is take your shredded cheese. And you can use as much or as little as you like. I am a huge cheese fan. Let me back up here. So you can see my dish. There we go. And I am just going to pour it all over it. I think I used the whole bag. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that you get up on the sides too. Yeah, I used the whole bag. I thought I did. What little I don't throw on the counter. Okay. See? That was the whole bag. Okay. And then what you're going to do, and this is the fun part. Um, make sure you got your cheese wherever you want it. Then you're going to take your crescent rolls, and you're going to lay them on the top. Now, um, when you stick it, it will come up to the side. It does for me. It may not for you, but it does for me. So I'm just connecting it like that. But you want to make sure that you have it, um, you let the crescent rolls connect. I even pinch them together, like right here, because if you don't, they're going to separate, and then your, your um, food your pot pie is going to seep up in between it so I just pinch it together so let me go ahead and do that okay so it looks like that when you're done um, like I said I don't really worry about the outer edges too much because I've noticed with mine it does go out but right in here I do try to make sure it's connected so that my pot pie don't seep up in between there so I'm gonna put it in the oh and I'm probably gonna get asked this I do not butter my dish or anything I just Vegetables straight in. And then I'm gonna take mine and I'm gonna put it in the bottom rack. And I'm gonna bake mine for let's say let's say 30 minutes and then I'll test it from there. That may not do it, but my opinion is you can always add more time, but you can't take it away. So if you burn it, you burn it. But let me let that bake, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I take it out and cut it. Okay, and that's after 30 minutes of being in the oven. It actually did, it was done in 30 minutes, so I didn't have to go any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Put it in a bowl for you guys so you can see what it looks like. It is still kind of hot, so I'm going to use my pot holders still. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, ah. These are some big bowls that I own. So, I don't fill them up. Oh, that looks so yummy. The cheese is all melted and it's piping hot. Put a little bit in my bowl. I like the, I think my favorite part of the whole thing is the, the bread. I could eat the crust off. But, that, that's hot. That's what it looks like, if you can see it. Looks really, really yummy. Let me see if you can see it with the light better. There you go. 
So that's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Um, I'm not going to do it all the time, but um, if I cook a certain thing, like I do cook a lot in the crock pot, so if you want to see anything like that, just let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later. Bye.